Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of City Sim Builds. In the previous episode, we built this park here, which is pretty awesome. I'm really happy with how this turned out. We got to a level five with this park, and I think things are looking really, really nice here. The other thing that we did was uh, over here on the northern part of town was we added in this residential area. Additionally, we also put some things like a little bit of commercial, a hospital, a new public library, a high school, and a few other city services. So things are looking really, really good. So since the previous video, I got a comment from Rodri Hughes. I think that's how you say your name, but Rodri had a naming suggestion for the park and they wanted to call the park Rock Rise Park. And this was to pay homage to the, the rock formation that we have here in the park. So we're gonna name that Rock Rise Park and that's gonna be our main park in the middle of town. Also, I got another comment from uh, Jesse Slaughter. I think I'm saying your name correctly. They had a suggestion on how I could add in the row of trees I wanted to here with the botanical garden. So I'm gonna quickly try and do that and then I'll come back and explain what I did. All right, so things are looking pretty good here. So the suggestion they had was to remove this road um, like along the front here and then come back and place it again just like one tile over. And once you have that in place, the building's happy with being one tile away from the, the road. So I think now what I can do is I can go in and place these trees. All right, nice. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. And I completely forgot about doing that. that. I think that's something that I saw like City Planner Plays or uh, Biffa or somebody like uh, do that same sort of trick, but that worked out really well. So I'm gonna try and use that in the future if I need to. I'm gonna quickly get this path in place and then we'll wrap this little project up. And I removed a, a live oak, so I'm gonna put these two here just to replace that. And I might put one here as well. Maybe another one here in the corner. I can get carried away with landscaping, that's for sure. Uh, maybe I'll put one here to hide the terrain a little bit. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on infrastructure. As you can see, we only have one entrance and exit for the city. I want to extend this road up here and then bring it around to have a new interchange over here. The other thing I wanna do is provide some rail access on this side of the city and bring it around as well and have it connect over here with the main rail line as well. So it's gonna involve like redoing this whole area, but I'm up for the challenge and I think it'd be really cool. And the other thing it's gonna do is provide access to this huge area, which we could use for a forestry industry. Because eventually what I might do is basically take this industry and slowly start to migrate it over here by relocating some of the buildings. But before we get into today's episode, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button that'd be really really helpful to me also if you want to leave a comment down below please feel free to do that and also like the video as well but with that let's get into today's episode all right so the first thing i want to do is extend this road up here so let's see what kind of road makes sense over here so i'm thinking at first we're going to extend our tram line a little bit this way well, I guess that turned out to be a lot of it that way. <laughs> uh, but from here, I'm gonna change things a little bit just to save a little bit of money. So for this, I want to bring the road around this way because I wanna preserve this area for farming and this area for farming as well. So let's use our curve road tool and see if we can get a nice curve that comes around over here. And the other reason I wanna target this area is because the river isn't as wide here um, as it is say down here or something. I mean, honestly, it's about the same no matter how far up you go. So I think either way, it's gonna be a, a costly bridge anyway. So before I build anything substantial, what I wanna do is get our gravel roads and bring this up here like that. And then I'm curious if I come across at, at a 90 somewhere, does it make sense? And what I might do is come to about here. And then from here, I'm gonna just place a temporary bridge that goes across like that. And I'm gonna try and get this as perpendicular to the banks as I can. So maybe something like that. And for some reason, the roadway guideline is not lining up here. Like normally, like you would have a roadway guideline that comes across like this, or sorry, that comes across like this, but, I, oh, I think it just, okay, now it's working. I'm very confused. <laughs> so we'll come up to here and then connect in like that. Then over here, we'll do a similar sort of thing. So I'm gonna back this off, say three, I guess bulldoze clicks away. We'll get rid of that piece. Then let's see if we can line this up as well. Yeah, and for whatever reason, the roadway guideline is not lining up when I do that, but I think that'd be fine. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm pretty pleased with that. So now that I have this in place, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this road through here. And when we get to here, I'm just gonna use this basic four lane road. 
Maybe I'll do the one with the uh, decorative grass in the middle. I think that will look better. And actually, over here, now that I have this lined up, what I'm gonna do is back this up just a little bit, and I wanna raise up the ground right here. And the main reason I wanna do this is because whenever you see bridges like built in real life, you, you tend to see something like this, where you're filling in the land and providing a actual like land structure to then have your bridge uh, go across. So in real life, this is called a fill section whenever you're doing like say roadway design or something like that. So I think that's a little bit too high. So I'm gonna increase the brush strength and find something about here and then flatten it out like that. I'm gonna back off a little bit there and then the next thing I'm gonna do is right click up here and come from over here and left click and slope up this way. So that way we get a nice gentle slope going up to our bridge. What I'm gonna do now is right click here at the top and then come over to this side and find approximately where we're gonna meet up. I'm gonna look at the roadway trajectory and it seems to be about in here somewhere. So that looks pretty good. We'll come over on this side as well. And then from here, what we can do is grab the top up here and then slope up this way. Now let's go in and place our road and see how things look. All right, so it looks like we're off by a little bit. I need to shift this over just a tad. And that's not a problem. We'll go in here to our level terrain tool, right click up here and then bring that over about like this and then we will slope from here again. All right, excellent. So let's make sure that comes across okay. Perfect. And for this, I'm gonna increase the height a little bit of the bridge. That way in the future, if we need ships to, to pass through, they should, shouldn't have a problem with that. So that is way too much. I'm gonna try and match the slope as much as I can for the, the road. And then we'll come to about here. Let's take a look at our height. I think that should be good for ships wanting to pass underneath it. So we'll continue on for, let's say, let's actually come over here and look and see. We're gonna maximize it to two bridge spans. So about there. And then from here, we'll start to slope back down. Oh, and I did not meet up there. So let's redo that little section there. So I'm gonna find this guideline and then bring this down a little bit. And then from here, let's see if we can tie up and meet the bridge. And I think I did the wrong section on this side. I think I did bike lanes. So we'll just quickly update this. Perfect. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. It's pretty symmetrical. Now we can connect up over here and ships should be able to go underneath here. So one thing that we can do is buy a tile. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this one and it's 10,200 and we have $4 million, so we're fine. <laughs> I think that's all the tiles that we can buy for right now. And this symbol down here just means that the, the tram line that comes with this cross section ends. And so I'm not worried about that in case, in case you're noticing that. And I quickly just wanna go through town and make sure that everything seems to be okay. So this has not enough educated workers. So let's take a look at our education system real quick. So we probably need another high school somewhere. So we have one there, we have one there, and we have one there. Maybe what we'll do is place one here like that. And then what we can do is uh, take this one and relocate it to say about there. And in the meantime, let's put an elementary school right there. That'll make people happy. <laughs> and let's take a look at our universities. For the time being, I'm gonna place a high capacity university right there. Because what I'm thinking for this area is to do some sort of university campus. So eventually this will go away, but in the time being, it's gonna help us with our education system. All right, so I wanna go ahead and connect up these roads here. And one thing I know I'm gonna to have to do is sever some of these connections. So I'm gonna get rid of the rail first. And then I wanna think about what kind of interchange I want here. So in the future, I'm probably gonna develop over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is just extend this over and build a simple diamond interchange. And what I like to do for interchanges is something kind of similar to over here. I'm gonna raise the height of the land on each side and then build a bridge and then connect things up and then build the on-ramps and off-ramps. So when I do this, I wanna find a height that works well with the existing terrain, but also works well with the height of the cars and trucks passing underneath. So I'm gonna line this up right through here, raise this up, and then if we come down and look, we should have ample clearance on this side for trucks, <laughs> hot dog vans, and uh, cars and, and all sorts of things. All right, so I'm happy with this height. So what I'm gonna do is come over here and right click and then even this out a little bit. Then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing. 
And then over here, what I'm gonna do is right click over here and then slope from over here. Something about like that. And then let's extend this over to here to the edge. And then we'll come over on this side and find our guideline and then just go out a little bit. And then from here, we can create a bridge section that meets up in the middle and then comes down on this side like that. And let's double check our clearances through here. So it looks like it's good. I'm not super pleased with this big hump here, this big ridge, but I'm gonna roll with it for now. So the next thing you wanna do is place your on-ramps and off-ramps. This side is gonna be kinda tricky because I can't get rid of this rail segment because we haven't bought this tile yet. So I'm gonna place a temporary on-ramp that's not gonna be super realistic, but the rest of them I'm gonna try and make them be a little bit better. And then once we have this tile purchased, I'll come back and rebuild this on-ramp. And before we do anything else, I wanna go through here and smooth out some of the terrain because we have done a lot of land modification and I want things to blend in just like a little bit more naturally. And some of this, it's not gonna let me do it because uh, again of the tile issue where we are right here at the uh, edge of the map. But over here, we should be able to fan things out a little bit more. All right, that's looking a little bit better. All right, so let's get our ramps in place. So at first here, I'm just gonna use this basic uh, highway ramp. It's just one lane. So I like my ramps to be at least as realistic as I can get them to be, which is kind of challenging with playing vanilla. So in doing this, I'm gonna find that node and come down a little south here, like to the midpoint roughly, and create a new node and come off at a 45 degree angle. And I wanna come up and, and have it where it's roughly perpendicular with the highway. And then from here, we can bring that up like that. And that's pretty close. In real life, you don't have this quick uh, exit off the highway like that. You actually have more of an abrupt, just 45 degree angle. And honestly, it's probably less than that. It's more like a 30 degree angle. Or the other thing you have is a separate lane that's a deceleration lane, and then it gradually comes off of that. Um, I'll put up a couple examples on the screen now just to show what I'm talking about. So now what I wanna do is build the on-ramp on this side. So what I'm gonna do is come up to here, our main junction, and then I'm gonna come down to say about here and try and get something that lines up parallel to the highway, right about there. And then what I can do is come over here and then line things up about like that. And it's not symmetrical, it could be prettier, but it, it's kind of difficult because we're on a curve here and I, I'm okay with that for right now. And then so on this side, Gonna do a similar thing. I'm gonna come off over here. And since we have this issue over here, I'm just gonna tie it in right there for right now. And I'm gonna come back and fix this at another point in time. But that way we now have another way to get to our city. So over time, you'll start to see folks starting to take this as a new route. And what I find is it takes like the game a little bit to catch up because what happens is way off in the map, you have the game mechanics working so that it routes traffic to our city. Oh no, we're having power issues. I wanna take care of this uh, really quickly. So what I'm gonna actually do is get rid of a couple windmills and I'm gonna place one of these solar updraft towers. And it looks like I need to get rid of a few more windmills. All right, so we'll place that there for now. And that should definitely take care of our power needs. Yeah, so right now we have been bumped up to 451 megawatts and we honestly don't need this anymore or that. And probably we don't need this wind turbine. And people will be happy about this because the nice thing is that this does not have any pollution, but it does have some noise pollution. And I'm okay with that especially since we have this uh, tree buffer over here that is gonna block some of the noise. Let's actually take a look at the noise real quick, just to double check. Yeah, so it's not as bad. The main thing that's causing noise is the highway over here. And so traffic right now is 86%. And I'm curious to see at the end of the episode if this goes back up to about 90. And it looks like it already is. It went from 86 to 88 in the time that I've been talking. So what happens is off the map, the game mechanics work so it's trying to route vehicles to your city over here. And it takes a while for that to kick in. Those cars have to travel that distance and so it just takes a while for that to actually happen 